Right now at 5, a follow-up in the case of an officer-involved shooting in Portsmouth. New details in court documents paint a clearer picture of the suspect, the officer who fired the gun, and the assisting officers. Well, the incident happened in October on Tatum Avenue. And 10 on your side's Laura Queso has been looking through court documents all day. Laura? Yeah, it's been about six months since that shooting in Portsmouth. And whether or not the shooting was justified remains to be seen. He's got a gun in his waistband. I got you. I already see it. It's police body camera video of the moments after a Portsmouth police officer shoots a burglary suspect and convicted felon on October 29, 2017. This was on Tatum Avenue. Take a breath. Take a breath. Today, new information details what happened before and after the shooting, and more about the suspect, 18 year old Deon Trace Ward. Court documents show he was convicted of a felony as a juvenile two years ago. Now he's sitting in jail, facing six felony charges in the most recent incident. In a jailhouse phone call log obtained by 10 on your side, Deontrace and another person discussed stealing the gun, going on to say Deontrace has the quote, juice in the community, and people think he shot a police officer, saying they say bust laughter. They say you busting at the police. Don't move. You can see from the video several police officers responded to the scene, including Officer Angelita Baclini, also uncovered in court documents. One week before she was shot by a Portsmouth teenager, she responded to this incident where Officer Jeremy DeRocher fired his gun. Well, Officer DeRocher has also had to live with that in the back of his mind, thinking, am I next? Officer Baclini was an arresting officer and found jewelry on Ward and a gun near his ankle. It appears that there is a link in terms of a gang that um, DeAndre's Ward was a member of, as well as um, the individuals who shot Officer Baclini uh, were also a member of the, the same gang. Um, beyond that, anything is, uh, that would say that there is a direct link would be mere speculation. Officer Baclini told investigators DeRocher didn't do anything wrong. So was this justified? Well, as we reported, Virginia State Police handed over their investigation to the Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney, Stephanie Morales. She tells us she is conducting an investigation. The attorney for the officer, DeRocher, says he believes it's unusual for the investigation to take this long. Meantime, the officer is on administrative duty. We requested a jailhouse interview with DeAndre's ward. He declined. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.